All right, so I have some foam samples for foam that's in our landing pads. I have a bowling ball that was an obstacle. Or at first it was a bowling ball, then it was an obstacle, and now it's going to be a test weight. And then we have some dishes. These are your mom's dishes, so don't worry. Um, it's okay if they break. There's three different densities of foam here. One's softer, one's medium, and then one's hard, hardest. Um, and the, again, this is the foam that we use in our landing pads. So how effective is the landing pad when it comes to taking an impact or the shock? Okay, first one, we'll do the soft. See how that works. Second one, clearly we'll do the medium. And then lastly, we'll do the hard. Will any of these allow that to break or will all of these allow it to break um, is the question. I'm going to put the bowl upside down like that, put the foam on it. I'll put it in slow-mo and we'll see what it does. Okay, first one, soft. Where's my mark? There. Again, first one soft. All right, so as you can see, the dish didn't, or the bowl didn't break. But what happened is. Dropped the ball on it, boom, it hit, didn't even crack it, and then bounced on the side, shot it off the table, and then it shattered into pieces. So when it hit the ground, it broke. However, that foam, that soft foam, protected it, which I was super shocked on that. I thought for sure that soft foam, the softest foam, would let it smash, but held up well. All right, second one, medium. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Same thing. Did not crack it. It protected it. Um, took out some of that bounce. It didn't rebound as much. Didn't even put a nick in it. Surprisingly, too, it doesn't even chip the rim on the metal bench. Like nothing chips. It doesn't do anything. It takes away the shock and the actual like blunt force. So works well. <laughs> Lastly. <clears throat> is uh, the heart. Every single one of them didn't allow the bowling ball to break the bowl. However, on two of them, the bowling ball hit and then hit the side and shot the, di the bowl off the bench onto the ground, and then it broke. Yeah, here's the ones that broke. They just completely 
flew off, flew off, and then just shattered. I tried to stop them, but, you know, I only do so much. Um, however, every single, all three of these, the soft, medium, and hard, they did not allow that bowling ball to smash or even crack the bowl. Um, which I was really shocked, actually. I was kind of disappointed. So what I'm going to do is just drop the bowling ball on a bowl. With that said, I was shocked or disappointed that I didn't get to break it, not that the foam didn't work. So foam worked really well, no matter the density. So what we're doing is putting a softer density on a harder density um, uh, in the pads. So that'll allow for a softer landing, but it also take all the shock. Um, so either one of these densities work well. Um, so that's good. However, I wanted to see the bowls break. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so we're down to one bowl. And I'm going to just drop the ball on the actual uh, bowl without any padding at all. And with that said, I did not look at these. I actually got these out of a uh, storage unit that my buddy had um, bought online, an uh, online storage unit that he goes through and then gets all the good stuff out of it. I didn't even look to see if these are good dishes. Um, they are made in the USA, but they're pretty clearly strong with the foam, but I think it's going to break this time. Same spot. Now I'm going to put it on slow-mo. So that one broke. That's exactly what I hope it'd do. There you have it. Um, foam works really well, no matter if it's soft, medium, or the hard. Um, they go by numbers, actually, so you can see they're different. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, soft, medium, hard. So what we do now is is going to be um, layered, softer on top, and then it's more dense on the bottom. Um, works out really well but that was just a fun test to really see well one I had actually those dishes and then two I had these samples so um, and then the bowling ball slash obstacle so you can see that the foam really does a lot um, which was super surprising that it, none of those allowed that di the bowl to break so pretty cool um, if I have other stuff to break we'll try something else in the future so